I love you, Mom. I love your sacrifices. been an interesting journey when somebody that you love so much like Peggy we all love Peggy she was everybody's mama around here total matri matriarch and when they actually pass in real life which happened with Francis Reed too and this is somebody who is so involved in all of our lives but then we all love them too as people and so we, she actually passed before and we went to that memorial service Stephen and I spoke at that memorial service and what I said then I think is so true she didn't have you know biological children of her own but she was a mama to all of us here which was amazing and I know that it would do Ma's heart good to see the many people that she loved all gathered together in a place that she loved so grab a seat grab a drink because we are going to celebrate the life of the one and only Carolyn Berry. So when we actually came to shoot it here at the show, from the minute we arrived in the morning, we were all, you know, kind of choked up and, but so happy to be able to mark this. I mean, I couldn't even imagine if they hadn't done that. They needed to do that. And it was so great that on the app, we had a round table, we'll call it. And for all of us, we had so many memories that were personal memories, which was really great. And so it was nice that they were able to bring a lot of the family members together and do it here at the pub and do it as she would like it, which was more of an Irish wake with everybody drinking and toasting and laughing. And that's the way. And I think that's the way Peggy McKay would like it, too. And she was tough as nails. And I like to believe that maybe I inherited a little of that from her. I'm gonna miss you so much, Grandma. And I also remember when I found out that I was not a part of this amazing family, one of my biggest fears was that I was gonna lose the connection with this woman. And I think she sensed that because one day we were in the fish market and she pulls over this lobster crate and she climbs up on top of it so, you know, we could be eye to eye. And she grabbed me by the shoulders and she looked me dead in the eye and she went, I want you to listen to me. <laughs> Once I let you into my heart, I will never let you go. You know what was really cool is a lot of the stories that people told were the stories that happened, that the viewers saw too. I thought that was really cool that we were really talking about memories that really happened too. It was great. I thought they really did a good job. Are you looking for a big donation? No. Um, Victor, that's not why I'm here. Well then, to what do I owe the interruption? You don't know, do you? Know what? Um... My mother passed away last night. For Kayla to go and see Victor and invite him to the memorial service, I thought was, I was so glad that they put that in there. And I mean, he was pretty stoic, but it was pretty cool that she would think to invite him. I thought that was really a healing for the Bradys. Well, you know what's really cool about, the, about Victor is that his presence in our family was so crazy. I mean, we all found out as adults that Bo was his son and that our mother had an affair with him. Our, our pristine, perfect mother, you know, was all crazy. In fact, when I first came on the show was right after they had found out and my parents were still having a lot of marital problems over this whole thing. I'd like to propose a toast <laughs> with a beer because, you know, that's what my mother would prefer. <laughs> my heart is so full today because I know that my mom and my pop are finally reunited in heaven. To Ma. I think that you miss your parents always, don't you? Then we all step up a level in a way. You know, we all step up to those shoes, which, you know, who could fill her shoes? I mean, I certainly can't. It's hard for me to even think that she's not around anymore because she just was such a force. She was working up until a couple years before she passed. She was like 91 or 92 when she passed away. I mean, she lived it the way she wanted to. 